Okay, we've let it run a couple of minutes after we've added the last of the material through it just to clean out anything that's light in here. And now we're going to go through the cleanup process. We've got ourselves a second bucket, or actually in this case a third bucket. I use this as the place that the mat goes and the material goes so that we can clean it up very quickly and efficiently. So first thing we're going to do, turn off the water, move the sluice over to our new bucket. We're going to take the water valve and turn it off so that we can use our spray nozzle. We're going to gently pull the mat into the bucket. We're going to turn our water pump back on and we're going to just clean this thing out. At this point, we've got the mat and all of the gold into our bucket. We're going to put our hose nozzle away, turn our pump back, valve back on, just get ourselves some water in on top of the mat, make it easier to clean the mat up. At that point, shut it down. Shake our mat up, check it for gold, put that away, now you've got your bucket of concentrates and from there we're going to get it into a pan, pan the last of it out, get as much gold as we can out. In my case that last cup of material that we have, I get all the gold I can get out of it and then I take that last cup and put it as a primer for my next run. That way I'm not using chemicals or anything else in the process. So from there, we'll get this into a pan. Okay, so we're ready to get our cons into the pan. Put a little bit of water in. Dump the rest back into your bucket. And we're just going to splash a little water in. Clean that bucket out. At this point, we got roughly a cup of material. That's got everything that was in here. That'll include all the heavies and your gold, and that's what you have to work from here. As we just pull back the sands a little bit, and that's the gold that we're trying to catch. Most other devices will not catch that gold. And there is a lot of that out there. So you'll see underneath the sand here is the coarser gold. We can cert we're going to pan that down and get that. But what I want to point out is this is really, really fine gold. And it just paints itself in the bottom of your pan. Now we'll go on to the next process, get rid of some of our our heavy metallics and then we can pan this down. Okay, we're going to take as much of the magnetics out as we can and, and then pan this down. You're going to want to use a smaller magnet so you don't get gold in there. Drop it a couple times and then take it out of the mix. This will speed up our panning process tremendously. Okay, we're, we're recording now. Okay, so we've got most of the 